Hi and welcome, thanks for joining. Today I'm going to be working on some jersey fabric, um, some quite thick jersey, and I'm going to make a stretchy pinafore dress. Pin, pinafore, I don't know how to say it. So that's fun. But basically I have this piece that is long enough to go to my mid thighs if I hold it up to my shoulders but I want it here resting just uh, where my armpit is in line with the armpit and then it fits well with just above the knee so basically have two layers here and I am going to take the top bit kind of find two um, points here with the same amount of distance to each side and then I'm going to see, okay, if I take this in just under my arms, will it then fit over? Yes, it will. It can't be, can't be too loose. It couldn't be like this, then it's going to drop down. So I'm finding a space here where it fits. So it's kind of just here under my arm in the middle. So if that's the front, then the same amount of fabric will be on the back and then it will fit. And then I'm just going to mark these two points. So I'm going to hold my finger where they are put two wonder clips in and I'm gonna give it a centimeter more seam allowance on either side so I know that I have enough so this is the width of my chest area that it needs to fit onto and um, I want to keep the full length or the full width down here so basically I'm going to fold it so that the two wonder clips are aligned and that also matches so these two ends are aligned pretty much that's something you could call a ruler I'm making cutting a line all the way here because then I'll have a nice A shape to it and that's exactly what I want so I will be cutting And you can use a marker if you have that. In this case, I'm just using some, some oil crayon. And I'm just cutting open this fold down here. And then a line. You better cut it on the large side because then you can always make it smaller later. So that's the best way to do it. And you can sew this with a zigzag stitch or a normal stitch or in this case I'm going to use my serger because I have a serger and it's great so uh, that's just so quick. So I'm going to take these two pieces, that's one piece, that's the other piece, I place them so the fabric is front to front and then I'm going to be stitching down this side and down this side. But before I do that, I want to add pockets because I thought pockets could be a really cool addition to this. Uh, let's call it like an overall skirt, or overall dress instead of a of a that word that I don't know how to say. So, if this is basically going to be the top bit, that will be folded down a bit. So that will be up here. So I have to see where are my hands. Where would it be nice to have some kind of pocket? And if I mark approximately where I want the pocket to be, that is at this height. So I'm just putting a pin in there. And I know this is gonna be really, really busy for you to see on the screen. But then basically, okay. I don't want the pockets to be the other way around, but I'm just placing them like this. So I'm going to see Okay, this could this could be the placement of the pockets. But of course, this fabric, this isn't ready to be pockets yet because the fabric here needs to be folded and to properly be turned into pockets. So I will do that and you can use a serger stitch before or a zigzag stitch or something. I'm just going to be really, really quick and not do any of those things because my experience with this jersey fabric is 
but the ends don't actually fray so it's not that necessary but I'm folding So the pockets are done now, um, the pockets are folded, they're not done. And you could press them with your iron and then they would be really nice and neat, that's a good way to do it. I'm just going to stitch them in place with my normal sewing machine, because then they're ready to go on. both of the pockets stitched uh, in place and now it's about placing them here on the dress and I want them approximately the same distance from each other as I want them from the side and I have marked here with a pin how far down I want them to be and it's just about adjusting it and then I'm going to pin it in place yeah pinning them on just a couple of pins just so I'm sure that they don't go anywhere and then of course as I stitch them on I am very careful to not stitch the opening bit on because I want to get my hands in there and I'm stitching them on very close to the edge of the pocket That was one on, so I'm just removing the pins and on to the next. And if I'd made contrast pockets, it would have been a lot easier for you to see the actual effect of this. But I didn't because I wanted the pockets to be with the same fabric. So uh, they are just a bit camouflaged. But I can get my hands down into them and that was the point. So pockets done. Just getting the threads here on the back. And now it's about stitching the sides together, as I mentioned before. So the two front parts of the fabric facing in towards each other and then stitching it all the way down the sides here. And I'm just going to go real quick and do it on my search. That was one side done. And this is, of course, a good time to just test Does this kind of fit? And yes, it does. Great. So I'm going to do the other side. That was quick. That's why I love my serger. This is a good time to try it on, but because I just tried it before, I know it's I know it's going to be good. I know it's going to be what I want it to be. So I'm just going to um, fold up the bottom hem. And yes, you can do a zigzag stitch. You can do 
uh, serger seam, you can do something to make sure the ends don't fray. And what will I do? Will I do any of those? I don't think so. Not today. I'm just going to fold it up and hem it really quickly and easily. This doesn't really fray, so I'm not so worried. I fold it up about a centimeter towards the back and then just stitch it on. bottom hem done. Now there is not much to do, uh, not much left on this dress. What I need to do is to do the same with the top, to fold that approximately a centimeter towards the back as well. And because this bit will be up here where it's going to be stretched a bit, I'm actually going to do that with a zigzag stitch and not just a normal seam stitch because that might break. Well, so I will just put on a small narrow zigzag stitch and then do it with that instead. Fold down one centimeter towards the back and then a zigzag stitch and that will be really good when it needs to stretch here to hold it up. Zigzag stitch is done now and of course it shows a little bit more than um, if it was just a normal stitch seam but it's still worth it because I wanted to be able to move up here and then it's just the straps I have made these two long bands so I'm going to measure here approximately on my back and on my front where I want them to be and then I'm actually just gonna see, cut them a slight bit longer than that, but not too much. And then I'm gonna adjust them, because then I'm not gonna spend time um, sewing in these sides on any more material than I need to. So I'm gonna fold this a centimeter towards the back and put it in place, a stitch it in place. was one down. This is very intuitive. This is just um, making it up as I go along. So don't be worried if you don't think it works exactly for you. You can always take some more time to test it as you as you go along. But this is just my standard way of working. So I'm going to put it here where I want the dress to be. And then I'm just going to test attach one of the straps to see if that's where I want it to be. And that actually looks good. That is the good placement for it. Then I can adjust the last bit here. You can see yeah that's probably going to come up quite a bit further so i'm going to test stitch it on approximately with this bit folded up i don't know if you can see and then i'm just putting it down again and i'm placing the other strap the same width from the side as the first one just measuring it as i go along 
actually I'm putting it on the wrong place because I want it to go behind here and I want to put it on there. Of course I don't want to attach it to the front. So I'm just going to fold that down here behind as well. And this is only folded down a couple of centimeters, not very much. And then I can just measure approximately, are they approximately the same distance from the side? Not completely, so I'm just gonna adjust this one a bit. And then it was the back. I wanted to shorten it a bit here. So I'm actually going to make such a big overlap here on the back and then just try to stitch that in place and then I can try it on and then I can always undo the seams if I want it to be a longer strap. And that makes it quite easy here. I can see they're the same length now. Pop that in and then attach this with a needle. And then I'm actually ready to sew the straps in place. I'm going quite close to the edge of the fabric, of the folded edge. Because I don't want um, the top bit to kind of flap open. Now I'm just really excited to try this on. And this is what it looks like finished. I am very happy with it and this was a super easy make. So basically I can only encourage you to try something like this. Uh, when you sew in stretch, uh, stretchy materials, it's a little bit more um, challenging in certain ways, but it's also nice in the way that you can quickly make something that actually fits. So I am, Quite pleased with this and who doesn't love pockets easy easy pockets thanks for watching and see you next time bye